A lot of stress comes with being a superhero, and Marinette deals with many emotionally high-strung situations as the teenage protector of Paris. She takes on too much responsibility and rarely confides in anyone for help. As a manifestation of her fear and stress, Marinette experiences moments of intense panic. On occasion, these emotions can manifest as panic attacks. During these intense and tension-filled moments, Marinette can hardly function. She struggles to breathe, speak, or focus on anything around her. These attacks become more frequent as the series progresses. In today's video, we're going over when and why some of the more notable ones occurred. Thanks to you, Mademoiselle Rena Furtive. Spots off. We're so good at this that we'll even be on time to see United Heroes the final end fight at the movies. At the beginning of Miraculous Ladybug, Marinette does everything she can to handle her responsibilities alone. She can only confide in her partner, Cat Noir, about her responsibilities as a hero. Even then, she can't relay how stressful being a superhero can be combined with her personal life. Throughout the first three seasons, the stress of shouldering her burdens intensifies. In the episode Heart Hunter, she finally reaches a breaking point. Throughout the episode, Marinette experiences a moment of genuine happiness as she spends time with Kagami and Adrian. Unfortunately, she concludes they would be better off together, leaving her heartbroken. She doesn't have time to dwell due to the arrival of the akumatized villain Heart Hunter. She tries to stop the villain with Cat Noir and Ryuko, but by retrieving the Dragon Miraculous from Master Fu, she leads Hawk Moth directly to the Guardian and the Miracle Box. Later, after Chloe has struck a deal with Hawk Moth to save her akumatized parents and after Heart Hunter is gone, Marinette leaves to return the Dragon Miraculous to Fu but can't find him. She begins to grow distraught until her emotions are too much to bear. Marinette then runs into Luca, who encourages her to express her feelings. Marinette starts crying and admits she's tired of pretending everything is okay. The sincere moment is the first time she opens up about what she's going through, despite being Ladybug for several months. Mr. Fu, I need oh. your help! This costume is very cute, miss, but is it really fitting in this place? As Ladybug, Marinette must be extra cautious to ensure her secret identity doesn't get revealed. If Hawk Moth were to learn who she was, he could find her anywhere and steal the Ladybug Miraculous. To ensure this never happens, Marinette keeps her life as a superhero a secret from her family, friends, and romantic partners. It's not until Season 4 when she finally tells Alia the truth does she finally confide in someone who isn't Tiki. Unfortunately, all of Marinette's caution couldn't prepare her for the Snake Miraculous's power. As the hero Viperion, Marinette's friend and ex-boyfriend Luca can reverse time. A consequence of this superpower is Luca's ability to remember everything that happens within each time loop. In the episode Wishmaker, he learns the identity of both Ladybug and Cat Noir, but chooses to keep his knowledge a secret. In the episode Migration, when Monarch nearly akumatizes Luca, he has to come clean. He calls Marinette by her real name despite her appearance as Ladybug. When she realizes he knows the truth, she moves slowly while her eyes widen in alarm. The change in body language is a telltale sign that Marinette is on the verge of a panic attack, but Luca manages to calm her down before one can fully start. I guess I'm not so sure what my real job should be after all. Maybe you should go visit a few booths at the Paris Careers Expo. I guess so, Tiki. Marinette couldn't be Ladybug without her Kwame Tiki. She's a magical creature that is centuries old and worth more than anything. That's why, after Tiki gets stolen in Miraculous Shanghai, Marinette willingly does anything to get her back. The special follows Marinette as she visits her great uncle for his 60th birthday. She's also there to find and spend time with Adrian, who joined his father on a trip. While there, Marinette explores Shanghai and runs into another main character, Faye. Faye, who works for a criminal named Cash, steals Marinette's bag and Miraculous without being caught. When Marinette notices Faye getting chased by local boys later, she tries to transform into Ladybug only to find that her Kwame is missing. Marinette is horrified to find herself alone in the city and collapses to her knees in the middle of an alleyway. She lets out an anguished yell and in the following scenes, she does everything she can to find Tiki. Marinette walks throughout Shanghai asking the locals to help find her lost earrings. Unfortunately, Faye takes Tiki and the Ladybug Miraculous to Cash Antiques. Faye wants to return the items, but instead, Cash makes Faye bring Marinette to the antique shop, believing he can sell the Miraculous back to Marinette at a high price. After searching tirelessly for Tiki, Marinette reunites with her Kwame at the antique shop, but Cash wants her to buy her earrings for 100,000 yuans. Faye has a change of heart and swaps Marinette's Miraculous for fake ones. Marinette is no stranger to bullying. Throughout the series, she is constantly bothered by Chloe, who tries to expel her from school. 
turn her friends against her or embarrass her at every turn. In Season 5, Kim reveals a practical joke that he helped Chloe pull when they were in 8th grade. The event traumatized Marinette and negatively impacted how she spent time with Adrian. In Derision, Marinette goes to the pool with Adrian. They meet Andine and Kim, and seeing their friend in the water sends Marinette running away. She hides in the locker room where she begins to panic and struggles to breathe. Monarch notices her fear and sends an Akuma to Akumatize her. Marinette nearly becomes the villain named Panic, but calms down enough to prevent the change from happening. Marinette's terror in this episode nearly had terrible consequences. It's caused by the memory of her previous crush, Kim, giving her a box filled with spiders. When Marinette opens the box, she is so surprised that she falls into the pool. Chloe and Sabrina watch from the sidelines, watching her fearful reaction while recording. The experience caused Marinette to swear off boys, something she stayed true to until meeting Adrian. <laughs> Touché! I didn't feel a thing! <laughs> right, straight to the heart! In Season 4, Marinette becomes the new guardian of the Miracle Box. The responsibility takes a lot out of her, and she depends on Alia, the lone person who knows her secret identity, for help. Marinette does things differently than Master Fu, but she takes the job as Guardian seriously. She even proves her capabilities to the Miracle Box's previous protector, Su Han, who permits her to keep the Miracle Box throughout the season. Marinette's dedication to her new role makes the season finale strike back all the more upsetting. In the episode, Gabriel devises a plan that requires every hero to help protect Paris. He forces innocent Parisians to throw caution to the wind. Marinette also begins to take risks and gives the dog Miraculous to Felix, believing that he is Adrian. Felix helps Ladybug defeat Risk and the Senta Monsters destroying Paris, but he also steals her yo-yo. With it, he can access the Miracle Box and retrieve the Miraculous kept within it. By the end of the episode, he gives the Miraculous to Gabriel. When Marinette realizes what Felix has done, she begins to hyperventilate. Adrian tries to comfort her, but when she concludes the Miraculous are lost, she falls to her knees in anguish. Ladybug, try to keep calm. Think, there must be a way to get your yo-yo back. <sighs> transform back and then go ahead you'll be safe here marinette may be a superhero full of luck but her hardships are far from over in the fifth season she gives everything to protect the remaining miraculous and to try to obtain the ones she lost unfortunately monarch is ready to stop her at every turn with each new episode the battle intensifies and it will take all of marinette's willpower to keep herself prepared as the battle for the miraculous continues Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Thanks guys, but I don't want you to miss the ceremony because of me. Are you kidding? We can't wait to get away. It's a good thing you're as clumsy as they are boring.